Hi, my name is Olger Tsigan. I'm the CEO and managing partner of Digital One, which is one of the oldest interactive agencies in Poland. And it is my pleasure to have a lecture here on building digital experiences using video online. Short agenda. Uh, we'll go through some facts and figures, uh, think about uh, why video becomes more and more popular on net. Uh, then I will show you some examples and finally uh, five tips on uh, how to engage through online video. First of all, uh, I decided to put a uh, quotation here uh, from one of my favorite books, which is uh, The Experience Economy by Joseph Pine and James Gilmore. Uh, the book is generally about uh, how in today's world, in today's economy, companies uh, must uh, behave, operate in order to satisfy their customers. And the um, main important thought is that it is not only about providing proper services to customers, but to provide an, uh, memorable experiences. And I think that um, today, uh, the network, the internet, the e-marketing itself is at such point when uh, we can't afford just to be there and to publish, uh, let's say, almost boring content. We have to fight for customers' attentions, and uh, video is one of the solutions here. Uh, I don't think anyone will uh, disagree with that uh, sentence. Internet had definitely changed the world, and uh, now customers are in control. Especially young uh, users don't appreciate uh, the traditional model of communication and they don't like when brands tell them what to do, how to do, and don't listen to their needs. So uh, brands have to change, have to try harder, and uh, have to fight for customers' attention. And we've learned in, in a, let's say, sometimes even painful way that uh, traditional content, traditional methods don't work. It's not a solution to move, for example, the content from TV to the internet because the expectations are much, much higher. So if we are a brand owner, uh, we constantly have to improve, constantly have to innovate, uh, to look for new solutions and think how to engage our customers. If we said that internet has changed the world, definitely by what's going on, how the internet is evolving right now, we can say that video has changed the internet. And one of the brands on the web, which is, uh, let's say, almost most successful in doing this, is of course YouTube. Okay, going quickly uh, through some research I've conducted before my presentation, uh, I've run across a very interesting report uh, prepared by eMarketer.com, so one of the research companies monitoring world trends and behavior online, uh, called the video content a premium opportunity. And the most important thing is it seems like there is a video everywhere you look online. And it's true. Whenever we go, wherever we go, whatever we are looking for, there is always some kind of the video uh, format used, uh, video idea, video project, uh, on almost every site, starting from news, uh, going to e-commerce, uh, and of course on e-marketing projects. If we look through uh, some facts, it's from Nielsen Online Video Census Report covering the uh, changes in video online. Uh, it is the table showing um, ton, uh, top online brands uh, utilizing video. We can see that YouTube with uh, 95 million users, it's, uh, for, uh, the numbers are from August as far as I remember, it's 95 million uh, users, so it is the most popular destination for people looking for video content online. The, the others, uh, we can return the others to see better, like Hulu or Yahoo uh, are far, far behind YouTube, 
but growing very quickly. Hulu, I don't know how many of you know the, um, uh, the brand, the, the, the concept. Hulu uh, is changing, uh, of course, the way the traditional uh, media companies are, up, are approaching internet, and it is the new model of uh, uh, giving proper uh, legal rights to show traditional content on the web. But we can also see the other traditional players like Fox, like ABC.com, uh, which uh, co those companies today, ca even if they don't own, they can't afford not to be on the internet. Everyone knows that with such numbers like 95 million of consumers online on YouTube alone, uh, you have to do this. The numbers, especially of course on the US market, the numbers uh, showing um, how many users are already watching video are really impressive. And if we see that uh, close to 2013, it will be almost 188 million of uh, internet viewers watching video in different forms. Of course, we are talking about all available forms of uh, video online. Uh, I think that uh, some, uh, here are some data on internet usage, but I think it, we'll skip it and you will be able to see it in the presentation after uh, the seminar. I've also placed uh, some data from the Polish market, uh, when of course it is the ranking of most popular sites in Poland. Uh, of course, on the first place is Google, as almost everywhere, but uh, YouTube is firmly in the top 10 on ninth position, uh, growing month to month. So I think that here in Bulgaria, it is almost the same that those uh, uh, video, those sites, those portals, uh, those websites uh, which offer the video are rising, especially that your country is among uh, top 10 uh, in Europe as to the infrastructure. And we've got to remember that broadband allows consumers to uh, watch uh, video uh, very comfortably. Uh, the following two slides, I think, are very interesting because they show two things. First of all, uh, year to year, the consumption of video online uh, is uh, rising. In 2008, uh, average user spent 1.57 uh, uh, hours online monthly, and in 2009, it's already three minutes. So. Um, people, it, it, we've got a growth of 53% year to year. In terms of uh, number of users, the growth is not that impressive, but the numbers are, of course, much higher. Still, we are above 10%. Per, uh, 10%. Okay, and now it's time to ask the question, why the video content is so popular? Of course, if we uh, concentrate on uh, people needs, we can imagine that um, in most cases, um, it is um, the type of communication uh, that is the easiest to absorb. And uh, we can even sometimes uh, do an, many other things. And I think that from my personal perspective, uh, it's very important that uh, we are used to watch television for last 50, 60 years. And now we can uh, move from just reading boring text or watching boring animations online to something that is far more engaging. And the, the other reasons are also very important. The, of course, the internet as an interactive medium gives you the possibility of uh, changing channels, let's say, so choosing what you want to watch uh, instead of going through the programming that is set by the TV station and when you want it. Uh, preparing the presentation, I found uh, this, uh, uh, this graph showing how information is absorbed. And if we look that, uh, of course, the text itself, so reading, um, we remember only 10% of what we read, 20% out of what we hear. Uh, watching a movie causes uh, absorption of 50% of the content that is uh, shown. 
So also from the brand perspective, it's very important to move towards video because it engages consumers and causes that we last longer in their mind. Okay, and there is a short quiz with prizes. Bef just before we uh, move to some examples, uh, is someone here who knows this uh, project? Okay, one person. Uh, do you know when it was launched? I can't you can't remember. But you know, can you tell a little bit what it's about? the brand of BMW uh, and uh, with that a lot of um, internet users watch that short movies and uh, there were celebrities also on the movies I think Madonna was part of one of the uh, projects Gay Rich I think made the one of the short films mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah and you are completely right so here's the price uh, from the shop on the airport the original Polish <laughs> lease to exchange Thank for you. the design VG uh, yeah, it's, uh, I put this one here because, um, uh, as you said, it is the series of short movies sponsored by BMW. Uh, they hired very well-known um, uh, directors, uh, actors, etc. the whole staff around uh, the production of those movies. Uh, Clive Owen, who was at the time not that uh, well-known and <coughs> successful actor, was starring uh, beside Madonna and some other uh, actors. And uh, you know, it happened in 2001. No one at that time uh, even imagined that this kind of a project can be conducted online. They spent, uh, I don't remember, it was like six or seven different movies uh, lasting for 15, 20 minutes. But really, uh, it was kind of the Hollywood movie, not uh, a low-cost movie for the internet, of course. They spent a lot of money, and uh, it was available only through the internet uh, with a schedule, a uh, week after week, or in this kind of uh, period, new episodes were launched uh, on the internet. And finally, the viewers could uh, subscribe for a DVD containing all the movies but it was only available through the uh, internet. And it was uh, nine years ago when the broadband uh, penetration was very low. Uh, the reach of the internet, even in states, was uh, low, and they decided to do this. Uh, the coverage of uh, the PR coverage around the project, etc., etc., was, of course, uh, great, enormous, because well, it was first of the kind. Uh, uh, project and uh, it was really very successful. Uh, afterwards, years, years later, other brands tried to uh, duplicate or copy that idea and some ideas in Europe were based on the idea of BMW films. Okay, let's move to some other examples showing how can we utilize video online and uh, how can brands benefit of uh, building those experiences. Uh, here is a very interesting project uh, sponsored, I will say sponsored by Sprite, so the Coca-Cola's brand. Uh, it's Green Eyed World, run exclusively on YouTube. It's not available on any branded website. Uh, it, it doesn't have any presence on the Coca-Cola side beside uh, only billboards moving to or directing to Green Eyed World. It's a story about the girl who has been uh, chosen from uh, thousands of um, other girls in, as far as I know, in, in the UK. And she was, um, the, the, the project is about uh, recording a music CD with the band in States, and uh, the series is about her pathway to this, uh, uh, to this CD, music CD she's going to record. Of course, every week a new episode is launched. And the very interesting thing is how uh, the whole thing is connected, uh, of course, through social media. As you can see here, uh, it's, uh, YouTube is uh, firmly linked with uh, Facebook. You can instantly connect to 
her profile and uh, every day something new happens. So it's uh, very engaging. Even if you don't follow the YouTube channel and you are active on Facebook and as we all know there are 300 million users or later on Facebook, uh, you, can, uh, you can be in touch with, uh, with Kate uh, and she's personally uh, all the time communicated with her friend uh, showing new things. It's kind of, um, let's say, type of realistic TV because it's uh, a lot of ma materials from behind the scenes, what's going on through her day in state, how she's working with her band, uh, how she's preparing to record the movie, but also some personal things with her boyfriend, etc., etc. The good part is that Sprite, uh, as a brand who is normally mm, very, let's say, um, used to traditional communication, especially in ATL, here is like a step behind. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's almost no sign of the company or the brand itself, only a small logo powered by Sprite. And during the whole project, Sprite is really very delicate about communication, is uh, not attacking com users. And we've got to remember that we are talking to young people who are very, very, um, uh, they, don't, they don't want to be attacked uh, directly. Very similar idea from Tampax. Uh, here's a series of web episodes about the boy, Zach, who magically has been transformed into a woman and uh, he leaves uh, their problems uh, from, of course, from the boy perspective. And uh, the whole series is, again, uh, very engaging, a lot of communication, special blog, profiles on social media, uh, but Tampax is, is not even present here uh, with any type of uh, brand exposure. From time to time, it's very delicately uh, placed uh, in the movie in terms of product placement. Here is uh, another example of, uh, of video and how um, the approach of brands to the internet uh, is uh, changing. MBank is uh, a leading uh, a Central European uh, direct bank uh, established in Poland and the recently they've decided to uh, to start this, the project, the campaign, uh, to bring other people having personal accounts in other banks to MBank, which, as you may know, is uh, not a typical type of communication. Everyone fights for credit cards, for uh, different type of credits, etc., etc. The personal accounts uh, with low profit margins are on the second plan. And MBank deci decided to prepare the whole campaign uh, exclusively on the internet without going to TV, uh, targeting only active internet users. And we have prepared uh, the whole campaign based on uh, three video uh, scenarios, on uh, three movies uh, with different scenarios mm, uh, that run throughout the whole Polish internet. So here we've got an example of, let's say, mm, very common approach, you can say it's TV spot online, nothing else, nothing more. But the change in uh, marketers' minds or their thinking is, ah, okay, we can do such things purely on the internet. Mm. Another example from what we've got, uh, I encourage you to visit the websites because uh, uh, I have only three examples of downloaded movies here but not for this one. And it is somehow interesting because uh, we had a, uh, the, the task, um, the goal was to make the presentation of a new Lugo, which is a biscuit from Kraft, uh, to make a, a presentation of uh, this biscuit and show um, uh, its advantages um, uh, on the website uh, in a non-typical way. And if you can imagine, it's hard to um, come with ideas regarding the biscuit itself in a very creative way. So we've decided to introduce two different characters, uh, the boy and the girl, who are 
uh, guiding um, consumers uh, through, through, uh, through two areas. One is the information area, and the second one is energy. And on the every page of the website, uh, the video hosts present uh, the information about um, uh, integrants, about calories, uh, how they help during your whole day, and what can you do in order to uh, live your day very effectively. Mm. Another approach is a project lstudio.com, which is uh, created by Lexus Brands in the uh, United States. It's, uh, we call it uh, internally content TV. A uh, very similar project was released by uh, Mercedes-Benz in Germany a few years ago. Uh, it's basically, mm, we can call it almost a TV station online. Uh, you've got several uh, different categories of uh, materials, humor, arts, modern life, uh, experimental, and different uh, stories, interviews, uh, different video content covering those uh, categories. What's interesting, uh, one of the, of course, professional actors are hired and they play in those episodes. What uh, is interesting is that one of them Episodes was uh, recently uh, awarded at Webby Awards. So you may know it's one of the most popular uh, web contests for uh, websites and web projects in general um, for the quality of scenario and uh, of the episode itself. Um, from our perspective, from local market perspective, which definitely is uh, Poland, um, we can say that it very rarely happens to do such a project um, locally because the budgets th that must be uh, behind this kind of the project are very big and in most cases uh, or in best case we receive this kinds of material and only localize it. So I think that uh, it's a very nice thing, very interesting project but possible only to execute on the worldwide level. And here is uh, another example. Uh, we call it interactive video. Uh, this time, uh, the authors went a little bit, a bit further. Instead of just placing the typical movie online and playing it, they've prepared an interactive video. This time, Ikea is showing different rooms. Can we play it? Unfortunately, it's unavailable online, but we've got... So as you can see, we are going through four different rooms, equipped, of course, with IKEA uh, furniture. Uh, in every scene, uh, we are three different, uh, let's say, movements or operations we can execute and see how people use the IKEA furniture. Uh, of course, these are pre-recorded video sessions but still, user is in control and can see what happens next, uh, can go through different uh, variations. IKEA is one of the, uh, I think, leading innovators in terms of uh, using video in e-marketing projects. There were 
of course, we can here sum up or choose uh, different furnitures and check prices. IKEA is one of the leading innovators in terms of using video in e marketing projects. Uh, maybe you've seen some mm, of the other projects by IKEA uh, showing, for example, kitchen, etc., with 3D uh, type of video going very deep inside uh, different elements on screen. And uh, I think that now we've moved with this example uh, to the part when it really shows the difference between uh, TV experience, TV commercials, and what's available on the internet. And for people, it's definitely more engaging because if you go through those scenarios, you are involved, you remember better. What's interesting, uh, w w when finally you can check different inventories and check prices, uh, it's very easy to connect with e-commerce. And I will explain you or show one of the projects we've done for Orange this year. And especially uh, in today's economic situation, when everyone looks at the ROI, return on investment, uh, it's very important to show that we are not only selling brand uh, in a typical marketing way, but we can, uh, we can also uh, connect it to sales online and make people purchase uh, different items for our, from our inventory. That's, uh, a, of course, Polish brand, Wyborowa Vodka, but it's a worldwide uh, campaign made by, as far as I remember, Vieden and Kennedy Agency. And it's also, it's also a interactive movie when you can influence the plot on the screen. And similar interactive movie from uh, Twix, when uh, uh, you are helping uh, this uh, young guy to uh, navigate through conversation with attractive girl and uh, finally uh, move closer to a lucky moment. But I strongly recommend you check this movie because it's really fun. Uh, these are only four or five scenes, uh, but really very humoristic and is uh, worth spending 10 or 15 minutes. A memorable experience. And here is uh, an example from a company that always uh, wants to uh, shock to do something that will last in your um, experience. Can we play the movie? It was, uh, it was a project that won a few years ago. Oh, I think we will have some problems. Okay, so. Um, I will explain it shortly. Um, uh, this project won a uh, Silver Lion, as far as I remember, on Can Lion a few years ago. Um, it was suddenly, at, at one day, uh, the diesel.com uh, homepage was taken over by, uh, uh, by girls uh, who kidnapped. Oh, we won't make it. Okay, it, it's not a problem. Uh, by girls who kidnapped the uh, diesel homepage and uh, started r uh, recording movies from a hotel room um, with a, a diesel salesman who was in handcuffs and a lot of different things happen. The, the clue is that it wasn't only a video showing uh, what happens in the room, but there was a very strong interaction with uh, diesel uh, fans. Uh, you could, for example, ask those, uh, those girls to do something with this kidnapped salesman, and they were uh, having these LCD screens, so the communication was also in the opposite direction, and if the fans suggested something interested, they could respond. Uh, so it was uh, not only about the uh, pre-written scenario of what happens uh, during this project, but really users could influence the whole situation. And again, uh, we have here something like a reality show uh, that happens live on the web. It's of course transmitted through several cameras, so it's uh, let's say almost a Big Brother type of history, but 
with a little touch of interaction and uh, a lot of funny things happening uh, that uh, no one even knows uh, before that something like this could happen because it's influenced by consumers. And uh, uh, unfortunately, we can't see the movie, but the results afterwards were really terrific. If you, if you uh, search in Google for high diesel, you will not see the web page itself because it's taken down, but you will see several uh, places in the internet with case studies and uh, materials, videos from this one. I, I, and I encourage you to mm, uh, go through this because it's really good example on how a brand can utilize video and of course uh, interact with consumers. Uh, going to the end of uh, the examples, there are still two left. I decided to put uh, something uh, from the opposite uh, uh, part, as I've mentioned, regarding more e-commerce activities. As some of you may know, uh, almost every uh, review or electronic gadget website like CNET.com has switched from traditional product reviews uh, with pictures and uh, with text to more interactive ones. And if we want to present, for example, like a uh, Lenovo notebook, everything is prepared in video. The trend is also uh, very well visible uh, on YouTube. If you are searching for new gadgets for new electronic devices, you will see different materials starting from so-called unboxing, when a person uh, unboxes, for example, a new mobile phone and showing what's inside the package. Uh, and it may sound stupid, but if you look an, on the counter, that is like 100 to 200 uh, uh, thousand people watches such a solution, it's really amazing that, that people want this kind of um, uh, content. We were asked by Orange Poland, uh, by B2B department, to handle uh, the case. They were uh, trying to boost uh, sales of smartphones, uh, not only online, but in general. And uh, during the analysis uh, uh, part of the project, we found out that, uh, of course, people have got fundamental problems as to the smartphones. They don't know how to utilize like 99% of functions, and they uh, treat the smartphones as something very complicated. And uh, for most of them, it's pointless to purchase such a device because it only causes problems. And we worked out the solution. Uh, we called a, a knowledge database. Uh, it's, of, of course, a, an internal uh, code name of the project. When for Every, uh, every type of the smartphone that's going to be introduced to the market, we've prepared sets of materials describing the smartphone itself, describing uh, starting from the unboxing, from the content of the package, uh, going through uh, various orange services, phone configuration, uh, and how to handle different functions. Uh, we've prepared for every phone, we've recorded over 50 of different materials, starting from the video movie with a uh, actor showing the general possibilities of phone, then going through uh, with live hosts through, for example, marketing videos showing the content of the package, and finally uh, going uh, to short uh, tutorials, video tutorials uh, with detailed uh, description of, for example, how to uh, start your Bluetooth function in HTC Magic. And we've just launched the project. It's also covering the performance uh, uh, marketing activities. It's connected to sales because we strongly believe that um, it's always uh, worth closing the loop. So if we found, for example, through campaign in Google, people interested in particular type of the smartphone. We direct them to the knowledge database, show the possibilities. And finally, there is a special offer unavailable through any other channel. Um, in this 
particular case, it's a uh, Bluetooth set and a pen drive, uh, completely free when you purchase it through uh, that part of orange.pl um, website. And I think that in general, as mentioned earlier, it's really important not to focus only to, to, uh, on marketing possibilities of, uh, for example, video, but also to uh, try to keep those people interested and uh, have some shopping solution for them at the end. The last example of, uh, of utilization of video online is, of course, uh, viral video. And here is the chart from Adage vir viral video uh, chart. Can we play the movie now, please? And I've decided to choose one, which has almost one and a half million of views uh, in a single week. Oh. Sorry, I think that we won't be, be able to play it. So, because we are running out of time, so I encourage you to go to adage.com and look for the viral video chart. This one is about Evian brand and it's showing the, uh, the influence of Evian water on staying uh, young and you will show how those toddlers are playing around. Okay, quickly through five tips. Uh, first of all, uh, as mentioned at the beginning, forget about moving the typical content from ATL offline activis activities to the internet. It simply uh, doesn't work. Second, uh, interaction. As, you, mm, as you've seen earlier on, on earlier slides, the most successful solutions, the most successful projects are not about showing only, uh, for example, web series. It's about connecting to people and being in touch with them, having uh, active profiles on social uh, media where brands can communicate with those people and listen to them uh, and really behave like in interactive era. Third idea, uh, of course we can't share everything and some uh, projects have uh, content that has restricted copyrights, but as long as we can uh, think about sharing with other users, uh, the best way to spread uh, the brand through the internet is to allow people uh, to embed videos on their sites, on their blogs, uh, we've got to encourage people to move it to Facebook and we can't think uh, like in the old times. It's our content and no one can do anything with it. Now we should share uh, with users and it costs us nothing and generate the coverage and the reach for our brand. Fourth, ask people for their opinions. Uh, the biggest mistake in many projects is that uh, we are preparing for a very, very long time a huge project and it's produced for like six months, uh, months long and then we launch it and it is a complete failure. Uh, we should test, we should uh, prepare small groups of beta testers, beta users, have polls, have interviews or even very often, right now, we prepare uh, test runs, uh, test periods for our campaigns and check what can be improved. Is it satisfactory for the consumers or not? We've got to talk to people. And the last one, go beyond the usual. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, v let's say, very good for our brand if we duplicate the same project that's been run or successful a year ago. Uh, for several reasons, people uh, don't want to engage in the same activities they've done before, and we look for more innovating solutions. And that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, again, please download the presentation or check the URL addresses I've uh, put on the slides and have a 
and have a uh, big look in those projects. Thank you.